Good morning, guys. Uh, this is Animesh. This uh, tutorial is on JDBC, Java Database Connectivity with Colfusion. So, uh, in Colfusion application, suppose you have a Colfusion application. So, the question is how you will connect it with database. Okay. Normally, there are two ways to store data. Like you can store your data in uh, files or you can store uh, data in uh, databases so the uh, basic thing is that how you will connect your application to the storage that is the database so here in uh, Colfusion applications uh, we use some uh, Java APIs okay and uh, we, with the use of Java APIs, we uh, connect with different uh, databases. So it is not uh, like uh, other languages that you need to write codes for connecting your application to the database. We are getting all those Java APIs with Colfusion, and uh, we uh, don't need to write those uh, codes. Okay, so if I uh, go to the Colfusion Administrator, okay, if you go to the Colfusion Administrator and then Data Sources, what is happening here? You have to put the data source name that is the DSN, and you need to select a particular database like uh, Cybes, Microsoft SQL Server, okay, my SQL and uh, other databases okay so what you what you uh, need to do you will just select the database from here okay a particular drivers for that database is uh, with Colfusion so we don't need to write any code on that so that is the beauty of Colfusion that within a short period of time you can build your application it will not take much more time so if I uh, go here that is my Colfusion application okay, and uh, the Java APIs and then JDBC Java Database Connectivity Driver Managers and there are four types of drivers by which you can connect with different databases or DBMS. So, type 1 is JDBC ODBC bridge, type 2 is native API driver, type 3 is network protocol driver, and type 4 is native protocol driver. So, this is the Colfusion application. It may be uh, anything. Okay, a particular dot cfm page, and from from there you are trying to connect with a database like MySQL or SQL Server. So this is the process like J Java API, JDBC driver manager, and these types. We are not looking into it. We are directly going to the data sources of Colfusion administrator and we are just selecting a particular database so we are manually avoiding these steps it is done by Colfusion automatically okay so this is actually really a beauty of Colfusion uh, a lot of drivers will be available like uh, for Oracle, if you want to connect your application with Oracle, the driver will be different. And if you uh, are trying to connect with SQL Server, then the driver will be different. So it depends which databases you are trying to get. Okay. So here is the DSN. Okay. We are using here JDBC driver there are some other drivers like uh, ODBC and uh, OLEDB but uh, as we know 
that Colpation is Colpation's parent language is Java. That is why uh, we are using here JDBC, and we can also use ODBC. So I am not going into details about these types of the JDBC drivers. This type one, type two, type three, type four. It depends how you can use. Okay, you can install a particular database like uh, SQL Server or MySQL in your local computer or you can connect your application with database that is in another server so you have two different servers the server where you are uh, writing your code and the server where your database is actually residing so if you want to connect your application in that particular server to the other server where the database is residing so it depends that how you will connect so if I uh, uh, do something like this okay it may be a test underscore India this is the name of the DSN at okay so uh, you, you can also connect ODBC but I'm not going into details in ODBC because this tutorial is on JDBC okay so if I go to the data sources this is the coefficient administrator and uh, this is the URL by which you can log into your coefficient administrator like the name of the website I have put it in my IIS web server and then you have to put CFIDE and then administrator and then index.cfm so if I want to make a data source on uh, uh, I can say mysql Okay, the data source name is magic so if I add this data source so it is requesting for other details also like uh, the name of the data source that I will use in my, uh, that I will use in my coefficient application the name of the CF data source name is magic and I have to put the database name and the server name if it is your local computer then you can put the local host here and the port for mysql is 3306 then you have to put username and then password all the things are here ok so uh, I have used here jam ok and this is running on port 81 you can uh, find all those ports like if you go to the CMD and uh, write net stat then you will get that which are the applications and applications are running and which are the applications on which ports you will know all the informations so this is the mysql and it is running on port 81 and if you request for that like this you, have, you can also uh, identify that is the MySQL is running by going to the CMD. So this is the URL. Okay. So yeah, this is the website I'm going here. Yeah, that is nice, really. Okay. Suppose I'm going to create a particular database, right? So, database name I'm putting here magic. M A G I C. Create. So, magic is the name of the database, and in that database, I can create a particular table like users. Uh, I can put like a uh, few col columns like uh, first name, last name, user ID and email ID so I can put four 
columns okay so the space is too short to display yeah just a moment so what i am doing i am just creating a particular database and a particular table in uh, mysql so that i can query that particular database i can insert a particular data through collision and i can retrieve i can retrieve those data from mysql database so this video okay is uh, on the communication between your collision application and database so in my next video tutorial i will explain how you will connect different databases okay in the next video tutorial i will use mysql database to connect to my whole fusion application so that's all folks